Well, actually, how that record came about, I was, um, like I said, I was in the middle, before COVID started, I was in the middle of doing a whole different sounding project. Like, Good Time was nothing like my, the, the, the direction of my album or the, 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 the sound when I was working. It was nothing like that. So, but I was just driving and I remember I was on the freeway and I was like, man, I just, I just wanted to have a happy feeling. And I, I, just, I, just, I don't know, it's, you know, because it's just, just so much craziness going on. It's like nothing was positive. Even on the radio, nothing was really positive. Everything was just, you know, was, you know, although I love the music that comes on the radio, I just want to hear something that I just feel like is laughing and smiling and just bobbing my head to. And so good times, the idea came to, the words started coming to my head, but I didn't have the music. And I remember that, that Michael Jackson sample, I always wanted to do something with that. And it came, that popped in my head just as, the, the, and I said, oh, oh, oh. So I made a, I made a U-turn and on, a, on the freeway, went back home and I said, let me do this before I forget it. Cause I did it all the time. I have audios in my head. I'm like, oh, I wait till I get home and record it. And I'm like, I know I was thinking of something, but what was it? And I and I, and I forget it, like a lot of songs that maybe could have been hits or whatever. But I always forget them because I never just go home and record them. I go start doing something else and I forget them. But this particular one, I said, let me just make a beeline back to the house and record the song. And that'd be a perfect time for me to use this that sit the four bar sample of that that Jackson Five song. And I and I I said that's the perfect that's the perfect marriage for this song. So that's how they came about. So it's kind of like they both were born at the same time. I actually had that, that that sample in my head for many, many years, but I just kind of stored away in my little, you know, my sample memory bank until it was something good came along and used it. And now I said, like, okay, I got it. Now I can pull it out. So that's what that was. Um, what I did was I I, I kind of because I I like I like a lot of hip hop. You know, I bought the hip hop element to Jodeci. You know, as far as like our fashion, our attitude on stage. You know, the way we carry ourselves, kind of like rappers, R&B rappers on stage. That was more like the energy I brought to the group. So, because I always like hip hop. I mean, like even growing up, you know, we were always into Prince, Michael Jackson, you know, the Chicago, Bon Jovi, you know, Def Leppard. But me and my family, I was a hip hop man. You know, my first rap was Roxanne Shante. That's the, that, let me tell you a story, yes. How, how I got to be so fresh. That's the first rap lines I ever heard in my life. From then I was hooked. Then I was mad, and then I, Big Daddy Kane and Rock Kim was just like when I heard Rock Kim, it was over, you know. BDP, Public Enemy, and I always had an infatuation with just the the production and the lyrical content of like how they put it together. Just it was just different. How they would just take pieces of James Brown records and make actual beats of them. I was always intrigued by that. So I said, you know what? I want to make a record that has those middle old old school elements in it, but just my flavor. And that's what I wanted to do. And I just and I just started going to crates, just getting samples, chopping samples up, putting keys over samples like I used to do back in the day. I don't want to make a record like that. So I kind of veered off the direction I was going because it was like uh, I was in the studio. I was making a good, I was making a great project, but now as COVID happens, you know everything changed and the direction of my focus of my album changed. So now I started digging in the crate, finding old samples, chopping them up, putting new sounds over top of them, and it became that. So it kind of sent the direction with COVID, but and even the records I did pre-COVID, I, I went back and pulled them and I started just adding older elements to them to make it sound more warm and, you know, just things I grew up with, you know, make it sound kind of new. Just about the single, the single comes out October 2nd and I have a, a, a new label that I'm, you know, looking for new talent, new artists called Camp Music, K-A-M-P, Music. Um, and, you know, we're just looking for new talent and producers, writers, artists, you know, just trying to build a new empire as far as like, you know, a new independent label that we're trying to do. So, you know, and, and the biopic will be sometime this lifetime, I promise. For everybody I want to know. Uh, they went off the Joe to I can't answer that because everybody answered me that, you know, asked me that all the time. So these are some of the questions that people ask all the time. So, you know, we just kind of go with the flow.